Hey folks, Chris Waters here, live on San Diego Comic-Con stage here at the GameSpot base station. And uh, we are now taking a look at a game that's been popular in Japan for many, many years and is coming to North America for the first time. Joining me on stage, Sam Mullen, uh, to talk about Hatsune Miku Project Diva F. That's correct. Sam, welcome to the stage. Thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, you are basically like a talent rep now for a singer who only exists in virtual form. That's correct. That's uh, ba basically what it is. Um, her first outing in the West um, in video game format. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Hatsune Miku, for those folks who, you know, have not pursued uh, imports or, you know, uh, gameplay from Japan, who, who is this lady? Well, actually, let's see her in action. We've got some gameplay we're going to fire right up now. Uh, and this is, this is a rhythm game. It's a rhythm game. Yeah. That's correct. It's a rhythm game based around um, all the popular music uh, that fans and uh, artists have created for Hatsune Miku. Um, I'm sorry. So this is not, you know, you guys didn't just sort of create this persona and then make up the songs yourselves. No, absolutely this not. This comes from the Legion fan base. That's right. It's from the internet. That's incredible. It's, 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 it's a crazy stuff from the internet. So every one of these songs um, are basically, the whole thing about Miku is, you know, she's a, a voice synthesization software mm -hmm. that people can use to, to create uh, basically song lyrics. Um, so people get on the internet, they collaborate, they create songs, and some of, the, some of these songs get very, very popular. Um, and basically Sega goes out and, and partners with these songwriters and basically creates these, uh, these music games uh, based around this about these songs. That is pretty incredible. Uh, so what we're seeing here now is the actual gameplay is these sort of icons flying in from off screen. Yep. Uh, you know, you're tapping in time, you got the little countdown clock on each. Uh, we're playing on a PlayStation 3. It's PlayStation 3 exclusive. That's so right. are we tapping face buttons? Uh, Correct. To, so, so as you can see, they're, they're, right now there's triangles kind of flying on the screen. So you'd hit the triangle button. Circles, you'd hit the circle button. Yeah, but there were stars before. The stars are basically you flick the stick. Oh, okay. So either analog stick, you just flick in any direction you want to, and that'll that'll hit the stars. All right. For the arrows, you'll basically hit. Um, those are kind of a little confusing. They you basically hit the. Um, the direction button and the corresponding action button. So for up, you would hit up and triangle. For down, oh, you hit down right. and uh, X at the same time. Uh, I can I can easily see how this could get very tricky to keep up with these songs very quickly. Yeah, I mean, we always recommend everyone should start kind of easy. You need to learn the song, and then once you learn the song, you can start leveling up, leveling up, and leveling up. Mm -hmm. um, in this demo, um, it's, it's currently available for anyone to download on PSN. We encourage everyone to go check it out. Nice. Um, but uh, the demo has easy and normal, uh, but they're also, in the full version, you'll have hard and extreme mode for those really, really extreme hardcore players. Extreme mode? Yeah. That sounds terrifying. No, thank you. But I'm sure some people out there would totally get into it. Yeah. Uh, so, Hatsune Miku, this is a character that Sega created? No, that's uh, it's, uh, Hatsune Miku is created by a company called Krypton Future Media. Okay. They're a small uh, uh, sort of sound import-export company based in Sapporo, Japan. Um, and in 2007, I believe, they released uh, Hatsune Miku out into the world. It's just just a voice synthesization software. And uh, so you you grab this you grab the software, and then you can you know program your own notes, write your own lyrics to go along with them, correct. and yep. then it puts it all together and puts it in this uh, this voice. Right into, into Hatsune Miku's voice. That's correct. And there are currently um, there's a number of uh, vocaloids that Krypton has created. It's not just Miku. She, there are, there's also uh, the Kagamine twins with Ren and, and Len. Uh -huh. um, there's also uh, Megudene Luka, who actually can sing in English as well. And then some of their older ones as well, it's like Kaito and uh, Meiko. They all make an appearance in this game. All in this game. Now, so this is, it's interesting because that wasn't, that software and the, the genesis of this character was not a, not a game per se. No. It was sort of a, a musical tool or something That's to correct. sort of dabble around with. But it's evolved into this since this phenomenon. Exactly, I mean, and it's all based on the internet. You know, you never know what's going to go crazy on the internet, and this is just one of those things that that resonated really well. When when Miku was released, she was just released as a, a box art, and she had a height and a weight, and that was it. And then the internet just went out and basically filled in this personality behind her. Oh, really? Yeah. Like created a whole yeah. backstory for Miku. Exactly. Like one of the common things is you always see her with these like Welsh leaks. Right? She's always swinging around these leaks. Like, oh, sorry, with Welsh leaks. Yeah, exactly. It's like, what is that? But but it, it's it like comes. Got vegetables. Yeah, it comes. Yeah. Well, it comes from this uh, this internet meme with this girl basically swinging a leak. I don't know if you ever seen it, but the he's got the like the polka song where the girl's like swinging the leak around. I don't think I've seen oh, it. Oh, no. you gotta you look that one up. That's just <laughs> the internet, man. It's just full of. Crazy. It's a magical place, and uh, you're on it right now, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. Uh, so there. So obviously, this is you know. 
in a rhythm game, you've, we've just seen sort of what it's like to play through the uh, an individual song. Right. Uh, is this you get to you can sort of ch choose your your singer, your outfit, etc. Correct. Cetera? So so like uh, right now he switched over to Sakura Moon, which is one of uh, Reen's new Reen's outfits. And these outfits themselves, these aren't just like Sega just went out and created these outfits. No, these are all designs that people have, on the internet have said for this song. This character would wear this in the video, and they they draft it up and put it up on the sort of pix, Pixiv. You ever heard of Pixiv? Yep. It's kind of it's kind of like the Japanese equivalent of DeviantArt. Okay. It's like yeah. an artistic collaboration nice, site. Nice. People get on and they upload these things, and Sega goes out and says, "Hey, your your outfit is really popular and associated with this song. We would like to put this like in to game." License it, yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically. What you're telling me is you've crowdsourced almost this entire game. I wouldn't say we've crowdsourced it. <laughs> we, we've basically just sort of unloaded. Crowdsourcing implies that we go out to the crowd That's and, true, yeah, and yeah. let them all do and it like, for hey, us. like, hey, can you guys do this? No, you guys have just sort of culled that material. Exactly. Engaged the, the, the creative community that's sprung up around these right. Vocaloid personalities. Exactly. And uh, made crazy singing robots that you can enjoy on your PlayStation 3. Yeah, yeah. It's great. And everyone's loving it. We, we got it. It's over at the, the Sega Arcade right now. Um, across the street from, from Comic Con, and we've got people from all ages, little kids, adults, moms, dads, they come in. Some of them are like, I love Miku, I have all her stuff from Japan, I'm gonna buy this one. Oh, really? Some people come in and they're like, What is this What's crazy a Miku? game? <laughs> yeah, and, but then they play it and they're like, This is amazing. How do I get it? That's like, oh, pretty cool. It's coming out next month. It's coming out next month. Go get it. Uh, is that gonna be downloadable on PlayStation 3? It's or? downloadable and we'll have a retail release in North America. Okay, nice. And so. This, I love that you're in, the, in a cave now, singing in, in the rain. Yeah. This sort of reminds me of you go to a karaoke bar, and uh, a lot of the times they have video, like if they don't have a specific music video, they've just got a random video yeah, yeah. that they have like stock footage yeah. put together. Yeah, that's true. Try to make a narrative out of it. It's it's like bizarre and fun. It's I'm kind of getting it, shades it, it, of that. Yeah, it's. I think there's probably. I mean, this is a, it's it, a, it's a, Jap it is a Japanese game, but yeah, yeah I, there's definitely a little bit of that going on. <laughs> But it's actually interesting, like some of these dances, like the, the video we just, the previous song, uh -huh. that's like the official dance for that song. So like some people will learn these dances and upload them to like YouTube or whatever. You can go check it out. And you have these high school girls in Miku outfits like dancing no these kid. official songs. It's, it's, so, it's so crazy. The I, internet is a crazy place. It's incredible how popular, so it's, it's you know, hugely popular in Japan. What, how did you guys like go from like, all right, you know, but what's big in Japan is not always going to be successful or catch on with the audience elsewhere. How did you guys go about assessing like, all right, are people going to go for yeah, this? Yeah, like, that, that's a great question. Um, even within Sega, you know, it was, it was a really hard decision, but I think what really what really kicked it off was um, back in, uh, I think it was April, uh -huh. Sega posted a, a Facebook page that basically said, if you want this game, like and share this post. And that post turned into the the most liked and shared post Sega has ever ever had on Facebook. So really? when we saw that, we're like, I guess I guess you're gonna have to bring this game out. I guess people are into it. Yeah. Very cool. And so it's coming out next month. Next month. And uh, folks are gonna get their hands on Hatsune Miku Project Diva F. Uh, does it? Do you, when you play, does it make you actually like want to sing along? These yeah. Songs? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so do you, you know these songs? I, I'm actually, I'm actually, like I, the song we, the, the previous dance song, like I'm watching guys play it over and over at the Sega Arcade, I'm like, I need to learn this dance. Because I just want to dance <laughs> along with her. Because if I'm going to be hearing it over and over again, I've got to have the moves. I, I kind of want to, I just kind of want to move my body. But there's no dance, el there's no dance elements within the yeah. gameplay itself. It, that, that would just be you studying on YouTube. That's correct. And uh, doing some, doing your homework. That's right. <laughs> if I can find the spare time. Uh, why is everything on fire? Because she's rocking it that because hard. She's rocking dude. so hard. Rocking it that hard. Oh my goodness! All right, uh, Hatsune Miku Project Diva F. Like this was. This is not Miku though. This is someone this else. Is, or did uh, she just dye her hair? No, no. That's that's uh, Rin. Her that's name's Rin. Rin. Yeah. But she's one of the twins. She's one of twins. There's a, she has a brother. Um, and and basically, it's a. Um, it's just a duet. They their their voices are built to work well together. Okay. Um, so, yeah, just sort and of a, a younger sounding vocal compared to Niku. And so, it, it, it just fascinates me how this is all spawned from a software that was originally sort of just like... Yeah, it's a I tool. Wanna, it's wanna, just a tool. Yeah, I just want to be a, a songwriter. You know, yeah, so I mean, it, it's like, uh, you know, Vocaloid was originally developed by, by Yamaha, which is famous for their, uh, their synthesization software. So, yeah. yeah, it's like a keyboard getting famous, you know? <laughs> like, it's really, it's really strange. And so do people actually use Vocaloid in, you know, 
other endeavors in sort of screen and songwriting and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's very widely used for all kinds of stuff in Japan. And just recently at uh, Anime Expo this year, uh, Krypton actually announced the English version of Miku, which will be coming out apparently this summer. Oh, really? Yeah. So, but this is all Japanese. Songs. All this, these are all Japanese songs because Miku hasn't been able to sing in English up until uh, uh, recently. All right. Very cool. Well, Hatsune Miku Project DJF. DJF, Diva. F. Diva F. She's not a DJ. No. She's a Diva. She's a Diva. Uh, and she's wearing a funny mask. That is delightful. <laughs> so as this song gets started, we will conclude here on stage. The game is coming out on PlayStation Network and PlayStation 3, like retail and downloadable retail for and the download. PlayStation yep. 3. Uh, That's correct. Next month. Next month. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks so much. Much man. appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your Comic Con. And now we're going to head off to another Homer check-in with the booth whose name I have immediately forgotten. Konami, it comes through the magical thing into my ear and I can tell you about it. We're gonna check out Konami, we'll be back with Pikmin 3, live from San Diego Comic-Con 2013.